Lord, this evening, the Lord will recover for you everything you have lost. And I believe tonight is your night in Jesus' name. By the grace of God, there won't be much grammar from our speaker. But the message is going to be in preaching. But the prayers, uh -huh. because your problem doesn't hear grammar, we are going to pray in Yoruba. I want you to bow down your head where you are. Father, Yes. yes, Lord. Yes. Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Tonight. The power of the Lord is in the house here. I give glory to God Almighty. Who has graciously graced me to be here. It is not by my own might that I am here. The devil tries so much for us not to be here. But by his grace we are here. Immediately after the word, immediately after the word, as I was coming, the Lord told me to pray for a category of people. And they are the people that I will tell you later. But right now, I want to talk to you about something that is very important. I don't know the type of choices that you have made in the past years. Choices. The choices you have made. But tonight, you need to make the most important decision of your life. You need to make the greatest choice of your life. The choice that will last you for a lifetime. So that the fire revival of year 2011 will be meaningful. I pray in the name of Jesus that the year 2011 fire revival. Fire revival 2011 shall be meaningful in your life in the name of Jesus. You need to manage a year. I look at Jesus. Shall be meaningful in your life in the name of Jesus. But you need to manage a year. I look at Jesus. The choice of a lifetime. The choice. A pinu ibi a ye. The choice of a lifetime. A pinu ibi a ye. At times like this. Bayi. At times like this. Si ba mera bayi. God will open the door of opportunity. But will you be able to seize that opportunity? Eh? Now the opportunity is right in front of you. It is right in front of you. So many years ago, when you became born again, or maybe you are here tonight and you are yet to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. But what has brought you here is because you understand that God's power is here. And that this year, fire revival, that somebody told you you can make it there. No doubt again. 
No doubt again. Tonight is your night. 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 That particular year. When you came into Christ, and the Lord Jesus Christ told you, He said, From now henceforth, He said, Go into the world and begin to preach the gospel. Now your son has been saved. Now that you have been saved, every soul that is saved must save another soul. And how do you save another soul? It is by going out there to proclaim the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. There is something I do tell people in London. I said, uh, 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 you know, thank God I have... Uh, I have a black man there, very close to mommy. I have a black man very close to mommy there. <laughs> Amen. You know, a white man believes that everything that is given to you, something must come out from there. So when you walk, nobody will tell you up there that we are going to remove a social amount of money from your salary. They will just remove it and give you the rest. But when it comes to the phone that people use, the phone, the mobile phone that they use, you know, people cannot understand the difference between gossiping and gospeling. Gospeling and gossiping, they can't differentiate it. But I tell people over there, I say there is a difference between gossiping and gospeling. The phone you have, Catch them on the streets. All alone. Catch them on the streets. All the all the They are talking on the phone. One sort of lori error. A Christian. Christian who has a Bible. Tony Bibeli. But abandon the Bible. To, eh? Abandon the Bible. Oh, si ba, oh, oh, a but he decided. Oh, di that what he will do is to use his mouth in a wrong way to gossip about another person. Whereas the real thing that he has been given is to do the gospel of the Lord Jesus. I want to ask you tonight, what is the choice you have made before now? Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. Tonight, you that is listening to me, I want you to make a choice. The choice that will last you for your lifetime. That choice you have made before now may not help you for tomorrow. It may not even take you to the place that God wants you to be. Maybe because you have made the wrong choice. Maybe that is the way, that is why you are where you are. But I want you to change it. Because where you are is not where God wants you to be. And I declare tonight. By the reason of anointing, every power that has held you captive, that power will release you. I say we will release you. If you say to release you, the power of the gospel will release you tonight. Because I am here tonight to preach the gospel of the Lord Jesus. I want to tell you the power behind the choice that we have made. 
has just told you, Baba Sofua, like in London there are so many people that preach heresies. It's the gospel of money. Gospel of rubbish. That has got well, nothing to do with Christ. But let me tell you tonight. We are where we are because we have chosen to preach the gospel of the Lord Jesus. I stand before you tonight to tell you that I was a nobody. I was a nobody. But today, the Lord has done it. The story has changed. The story has changed. The story has changed. I declare, He who has changed my story we change the story of somebody here oh, somebody listening to me somebody is not listening to me I am prophesying into that person's life that we shout at the top of his voice I said tonight the one that I have chosen the one I have chosen that has changed my story. Oh, no, you tell me, we brother. change your story. Yo, you talk to you, Somebody is not listening to me. Oh, see, that be any pay and go, Bontimo, we. I thought you would jump up on your feet. In about 10 minutes, I will just tell you a story. But before then, let me prophesy into the life of somebody. This is what the Holy Spirit has asked me to prophesy into the life of somebody. That the God of heaven that has changed my story. There is somebody listening to me here. For whom God has met tonight to be possible. I say, and I prophesy, in the name of the living God, your story will change. I say your story will change. I your story will change. Your story will change. Your story will change. Your story will change. I say your story will change. Your story will change. In the name of Jesus. Be seated. God bless you. Amen. Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Chapter 28, verse 16 to 20. Matthew 28, 16 to 20. As anyone it, you can read it for me. Or if you like, go to Mark 16, 15 to 17. Yeah, the disciples came out, yes? Yes. When they saw him, yes? Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. And first guys came, yes? Yes. 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 Amen. Mark 16, 15 to 17. And I want to quickly read from here. And it's, he said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel. Preach the good news to all creations. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. But whoever does not believe will not be condemned. And these signs will follow those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons. 